What's up, man? This is Gamer Style 808. Now, I'm making this video as pretty much a rant on Kyrie bitch ass, man. Hold on. So let me get this straight. Before LeBron got there, you wasn't even making the playoffs. You weren't doing anything. All of these people out here talking about, oh, he's a great scorer. You never led the league in scoring. The, all of this talk about be, you being a great scorer, you're not even a better scorer than Dame. And niggas don't even talk about him. But LeBron gets there and now all of a sudden, oh, Kyrie, he's one of the best scorers in the league. His ability to score and all that, blah, blah, blah. People talk about him like he's Westbrook. As if he's like was an MVP before LeBron got there. People are talking about him like he's D-Wade or some shit. Nah. Your team was tanking when you were there. That's how good the team was. They looked at you and they were like, eh, let him get a couple of buckets. We're going to tank anyways. If you were on the 6th, you'd be the same situation. They'd still be tanking. Though they're still tanking, so you wouldn't have made any difference, Kyrie. You were out here talking like you Kobe. Talking about, oh, it's me or LeBron. Of course it's you. Of course it's gonna be you. Really? You think Dan Gilbert's gonna sit there and be like, man, this is such a tough decision. Woo! Nigga, you out of here. Your bum ass is out of here. Standing there recording with Steph Curry doing that clown shit. You going to somebody else's wedding and then you standing there while Steph is clowning LeBron, the king. Why don't you go join him? If you want to leave so bad, why don't you go, you know, come off the bench for him? Steph would love that. Cause he's out here, you know, recruiting every superstar, sucking dick, trying to get every superstar out here. Well, LeBron goes somewhere, niggas go there to play with him. Steph was out there recruiting niggas with Draymond crying in the car after the finals when he got his ass whooped. Man, I hate you, Kyrie. You no longer an all-star caliber player to me. You are trash. You play trash defense. When LeBron is not on the court, the team is always down. You run around here telling niggas like you Kobe. Running up on Dan Gilbert telling them, oh, it's either me or LeBron. What kind of fuck shit is that? The man gave you a title. You were standing there crying when he gave you that ring. And now all of a sudden, oh, I don't want to be LeBron's dad. You know, LeBron's son, LeBron's team, like, uh, he's my daddy. He is your daddy. LeBron is everybody's daddy. If LeBron is on your team, yeah, he's your daddy. He's Kevin Love daddy. When was the last time your Kevin Love says, throw some shade at LeBron? Because he know LeBron is your daddy. Fuck out of here. The first year they joined in Miami, they didn't win. Why? Because D-Wade did not want to call LeBron daddy. He didn't want to give the rock up. He didn't want to give up the leadership. Chris Bosh already did. Chris Bosh was like, yeah, LeBron is the best. You know, it's him. D-Wade still, was still on his, you know, it's, it's, it's Wade County. Uh, it's my county. Nah, year after that, Pat Riley told D-Wade, yo, you need to calm that shit down. I ain't bring LeBron all the way here just so you can take all the shine. LeBron is the new point guard. Yeah. Kyrie doesn't know nothing about that. He had to learn the hard way the second year. He had to learn. How to win titles. How to shut your mouth and know your role. Ask Steph. Ask Steph Curry how many finals and MVPs he got. He knows how to shut his mouth and know his role. 
in that team. He knows Steve Kerr got a plan. LeBron James got a plan. Popovich had a plan. These teams each have their own plans to win. Kyrie doesn't know. He doesn't even understand it. And it's not that hard to understand. Like, you were a loser before LeBron got there, and now you're a winner. Like, how the fuck does this does that not compute in his own head? It's 100% a pride thing. Nothing less, nothing more. It's not basketball, man. And it's not even marketing, because you got your own shoe deals. You got your own signature shoe. Like, think about that. Not that many athletes got their own signature shoe. Chris Paul don't got one. He's under Jordan. Melo don't got one. He's under Jordan. Westbrook MVP don't got one. He's under Jordan brand. But you do. ESPN and other sports outlets are reporting that Kyrie wants to go to like either New York or Milwaukee. And then there was a report saying the Suns want him too. Minnesota ain't made the playoffs since KG left. The Suns are a trash organization. We've seen how they've been doing since Nash. Who else? The Knicks. <laughs> Shout out to Porzingis, man. Shout out to Knicks fans, but... No! Kyrie, good luck. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say, man. Good luck, man. Fuck.